you are on the brink of discovering news about Celtic that will leave you astounded, dear fan. Welcome to our Celtic News channel. We're bringing fresh videos every day, and we invite you to show your support by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and activating the notification bell. Brendan Rodgers has revealed that Kyogo Furuhashi will likely need surgery to address his long-standing shoulder issue. However, the Celtic boss will leave the decision up to the ace himself. Rodgers is on the verge of securing midfielder Mike Naroki from Legia Warsaw for £4.3 million on a five-year contract, with the 22-year-old Polish player undergoing a medical in Glasgow yesterday and closing in on the deal. Korean stars Yang Hyunjan and Kuyan Hyokkyo are set to join the club early next week. But the Hoops gaffer is also determined to keep the player of the year, Kyogo, in their ranks in the upcoming weeks. The 28-year-old played 25 minutes against Yokohama F. Marinos on Wednesday and another 45 in yesterday's 1-0 victory over Gamba Osaka, as Celtic concluded their Japanese tour. Rogers said, Kyogo is still working on his fitness as he had a shoulder problem in Portugal. It's something he deals with from time to time. I've seen it before with players when their shoulders can pop out a bit. It's probably one of those that he won't be completely right until he has the operation. But he can obviously get by without it as he doesn't feel any real pain except when it flares up. Surgery would be down to the player. We had it with Kian, Tierney, a few years ago when we had something similar, but it always depends on the player. I remember the injury against Hearts in the last game of the season. He came off, but he has that tough mentality, which is great. He's a fighter, so he'll be back up to speed. Kyogo is determined to keep playing and has disregarded any suggestion of a problem. He said, there's nothing to get better or worse. It's fine. I'm on the field, and when you see me play, you'll see how it is. Rogers insisted that the striker is made of tough material and isn't worried. However, he admitted that he'll need to manage his Far East contingent, as many of them have been playing non-stop for the past two years. Rogers said, the Japanese boys haven't had much rest when you track their time and how much they've played in the last two years. They came to Celtic right at the end of their seasons in Japan, so it's been constant for them. It's just about managing them as we have long seasons at Celtic with 50 or 60 games. So, we want to make sure they are fine. But with Kyogo, we're just accommodating him. Rogers was pleased with his team's performance in Osaka, with Alexandro Bernabe securing the victory six minutes from time. Rogers sent out two different teams for each half and was content with key players getting some game time. The Parkhead boss is also set to bolster his team with the addition of Naroki. The Germany-born, Poland U21 international impressed last season and almost forced his way into Poland's squad for the World Cup in Qatar, being named in the provisional squad that was eventually trimmed for the tournament. Celtic will also be boosted by the return of Cameron Carter-Vickers, who resumed full training at Lennox Town this weekend, along with Anthony Ralston, as the duo look to step up their physical battles next week. Now, Celtic fan, it's time for you to interact with us. We really want to hear your opinion at this moment, as it's crucial to help our work. We are motivated to bring fresh content about Celtic every day, so don't forget to leave your like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell. This keeps us motivated and enables us to deliver the best news content about your beloved team. Together, we'll closely follow the next chapters of this thrilling story involving our beloved Celtic.